Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we want to show that 1 divided by sine of 10 degrees minus root 3 divided by cos of 10 degrees is equal to 4. Okay, what we are going to be doing here is to simplify the left hand side which is the trigonometric expression and see whether we are going to get 4 or not. Alright, let's get started with the solution. First of all, let us simplify the left hand side. I think we can simplify it as this cos of 10 degrees multiplied by 1 is cos of 10 degrees so we write it here minus sine of 10 degrees multiplied by root 3 is root 3 multiplied by sine of 10 degrees then we divide by the product of these two ratios which is sine of 10 degrees multiplied by cos of 10 degrees so this is the simplified form of the left hand side now i want us to multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 over 2 i don't have to write it because i have already stated that if i do so we have 1 over 2 cos of 10 degrees minus 1 over 2 times root 3 will give us root 3 divided by 2 sine of 10 degrees divided by 1 over 2 sine of 10 degrees multiplied by cos of 10 degrees. Remember that from trigonometric ratios, sine of 30 degrees is the same thing as 1 over 2. And cos of 30 degrees is the same thing as root 3 over 2. So let us go ahead and replace 1 over 2 with sine 30 and root 3 over 2 with cos 30 degrees. So this becomes sine of 30 degrees multiplied by cos of 10 degrees minus root 3 over 2 which is cos of 30 degrees multiply by sine of 10 degrees divide by 1 over 2 but I want us to multiply by 1 over 2 multiply by 2 remember 1 over 2 times 2 is 1 so it's like we are multiplying by 1 we are doing so for a purpose you will see that shortly we have 1 over 2 times 2 then multiply by sine of 10 degrees multiply by cos of 10 degrees all right to simplify this i want us to apply two other identities for double angle which are when you have sine of an angle minus another angle this is the same thing as sine of the first angle multiplied by cos of the second angle minus cos of the first angle multiplied by sine of the first angle can you see that it exactly corresponds to what we have here where alpha is equal to 30 and beta is equal to 10. So instead of the whole of this expression, we can replace it with sine of alpha minus beta, which is sine of 30 minus 10. Let me start with that one first. So this is equal to sine of 30 degrees minus 10 degrees to the top. And to the bottom, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. Okay, look at this identity. We have 2 sine 10 cos 10. It exactly corresponds to this identity, which we can write instead of 2 sine 10 cos 10 as sine 2 multiplied by 10, which is sine 2 theta. So we have sine of 2 theta is 10. Okay? This is equal to sine of 20 degrees because 30 minus 10 is 20 divide by 1 over 4 multiply by sine of 20 degrees as well sine of 20 will cancel sine of 20 this is exactly equal to 1 divided by 1 over 4 which is just the reciprocal of 1 over 4 and this is equal to 4 exactly therefore 
Since it is equal to 4, which we have to the right hand side, we can conclude that the left hand side is equal to 4 and hence proved. And this is all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.